Alrighty guys, Physic here, and welcome back to my Minecraft episode, I think it's 5, on my Minecraft Let's Play series, and today we're going to take a break, and we're going to do something, well I think is fun, and we are going to make the skeleton spawner, mob farm, thingy, magi, whatever you want to call it. So, let's go head off, I've got 10 obsidian with me, and I've got flint and steel, so we can go set up a portal there. Matter of fact, I need to go to our portal and take a screenshot of the coordinates in the nether so then I know where to tunnel to. Let's head into the nether. Ooh, scary. Right, let's step out. It's, oh yeah, I need to get quartz so then I can higher up my levels because that's a good way of farming. F2, there we go, and let's head back out. So, we're going to make a basic uh, thingy, what they call, damn it, I've got, uh, never ball, there we go, brain fart, and we are going to go to, is it coming night, yes it is, I better sleep, maybe I should bring a bed with me, so then if I die there, I can sleep there, yeah, I'll probably do that, so I have the coordinates next to me right now, where it is, and it is about 3,000 blocks away, well, 3,500 blocks away to be exact, and I will probably not make you watch me walk the whole way, so I will skip until we get there, so I will see you guys in a matter of seconds. So about 3,000 blocks later, we are here, it is just across this hill, right in this pathway. Look, ready? There it is. Now, where are we going to set the portal? I reckon we should set up in here, probably. We'll do it here. Let's make a dent, so then we can put said portal in here. And let's get the obsidian, and we will place it down. There we go, and let's hope it doesn't lead to our other portal, because we are 3,000 blocks away. Let's pray. Let's put a... Oh no, I can't sleep, can I? Never mind. I might have just travelled 3,000 blocks for nothing. We don't know. Come on. New... New portal. New portal. I think it's a new portal. Uh, yes, it is. Let's go back. Let's see what happens when we go back. Yep, we are still at spawner, so I will make a tunnel towards our other portal and then I will get back to you as soon as I have done that and then we'll start making, start getting work done on the uh, skeleton spawner. So I'll be right back. Well guys, here is our portal to our main base, so let's go through it and let's hope we get to our main base. And yes we do. So that is successful. We have made a very long bridge <laughs> across the nether just to get here. Let's make a double bed. There we go. And uh, so oh, how am I going to do this? What way shall I make this mob spawner? Let me put some stuff away. I might make it out of wood. That, that might be a different way. Yeah, I'll probably go make it out of wood. Not, not going to need spruce. Uh, which probably be enough wood. I'm gonna need a lot of buckets. So take that. So I'll get some iron and make some more buckets. So I'll make about four more buckets. There we go. And we will drop this off. Matter of fact, I think I think we can make something. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. And I'm pretty sure I still have a blaze rod, so let's make, oh wait, it's like that isn't it, and then, yep, I have ender. Let's make, where is the, where is it, obsidian, let's make an ender chest, there we go, and we'll put it here, so I'll transfer everything in there, into there. And when I get uh, get another amount, and when I get another ender pearl, I'll move one over to the base, so then we can easily move stuff back and forth. 
but for now we are stuck using manual labour. Well, I need a flint steel. I'll take it just in case because you never know. It might break the portal. So what else should I take? Like, I can always come back, but mm, I don't know. Maybe I should take. Well, I've got wood. Don't need horses. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. I'll take glass, just in case. Never know. I might. Oh, I'm... Mm, we're gonna have a lot of cobblestone there anyway. Oh, I know what I could take. Take so. Uh, take eight glowstone. Cover it in redstone to make. Wait, that's the wrong way. Like that to make redstone lamps. Bring some redstone with me. Pretty sure that's all I would really need. I can make everything else. Let me bring some stone with me. Bring two stacks of stone. Um, anything else? Have we got a spare chest there? Crafting table. Cause might as well fill up the infantry. Uh, can't see one. Take this wood. Is that dark oak? I'll take this wood as well. I'm gonna need more oak actually. Alright, I'm gonna get more oak. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. And I have almost done the actual spawning room. I've just designed it as like a little wooden cage. Uh, I'll probably do a tutorial on this in like a different world if I skip parts. But it's pretty. It's like a pretty much simple mobs xp spawner design whatever you want to call it but instead of using like water facing in one direction i've decided to see if this would be more efficient because we're all going to head to one sp specific lane so i want to see if this will work and maybe get the uh, mobs out of the spawner faster and what it's going to go like it's going to go through there and it's going to go all the way up and it's going to go back into the mountain I'm probably going to make like a glass tube or something and it's going to come all the way down. It has to be 16 blocks away from the actual spawner. So it'll be 16 blocks say about about here and then have like a killing chamber where I can kill them and uh, yeah hopefully grab their XP, make some uh, instant health potions, bring them here. We've got the melons, we've got gold so it should be alright. And we've also got a cave here so I haven't noticed that. Uh, never know, we can have a dual spawner. Uh, Yes, yeah, so uh, I'll keep you guys posted, and I will probably be finishing this off in a bit, so it'll probably be in like the next second, so I'll see you in a bit, guys. And there is another thing about the spawner that we need to know, is because uh, it's near the surface, like a surface spawner, we're going to have to light outside, <clears throat> we have to light outside all around the spawner, so no mobs spawn around the spawner, which will affect the spawn rates and or they spawn outside the cage that I'm building them and they'll stay there and until the the day so they'll burn but yeah I'll probably put lights out in a bit so don't you worry about that guys <laughs> I was just giving you posted because yeah, I've only done three minutes of the video so far so I need to make the video longer so I'm not trying to bore you but that's what I'm gonna do so I'll see, see you guys in a sec Alrighty guy, welcome back, and we have skeletons spawning, and this is what I have got done so far, so I will show you what I have done. I am getting ready to set up the tube that will take them from all the way over here, over there, to right here, but I haven't prettied it up yet, I'll probably do that in a bit, but this is what I have set up now, hello. So... It's pretty simple really, you just encase the uh, room in uh, water on the floor and uh, I've just pretty it up a bit, I've put some lights on, they're actually not working, I need to put a light there and a light there and it'll probably stop spawning because they keep spawning over here or wait, or over here, see look, just spawned over there, so let's kill this one and this is an elevator that uh, takes the mobs up to the roof, whatever, the drop zone, whatever, and uh, the reason why they do that is mobs have a built-in system where if they reach water, they don't 
they're not very intelligent. The only thing they know how to, what to do is just to swim up so they don't drown. So, if I was a mob, wait, I'm going to kill you because I'd probably get shot by you and die. If I was a mob and I fell down here, the only thing I would do is hold space. And then when I get to something like here, I would carry on going. And then I would stop drowning because there's uh, signs above me that just give me space to breathe and then I come up here so right now we are on level 11 this is level 11 and we have to get to 25 and skeletons need a drop of 23 I think probably 23 or 22 to get into half health so we are going to do that now now I'm gonna make it out of glass and see how that looks and if it doesn't look cool well then I'll probably have to change it out so the way I'm gonna do it is just like this, I'm going to set up the glass out on our that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And let's kill the skeleton because I'm going to money. And how am I going to get out? Wait, can I do it like that? No. Uh, need water. I've also got loads of buckets so then we can easily get in and out of this place. Let's put some dirt down so I don't get trapped. So this is like basic setup right now. I will probably, well, I will make this place look pretty and get everything sorted. So let's go back up here. I have signs which hold the water. I have water <laughs> to uh, make the mob elevator. Uh, can't even speak elevator work. So let's put this one back down. So if I had a second sword, uh, there we go, I'll just do the tube now, and then I'll put the signs down. Yeah, I'll probably uh, put wood on the side of these, maybe something like that, I'm not quite sure, I'm still going to make it look nicer, but let's hope it looks nice. Let's take it up to here and up oh. oh hello and now let's place a sign let's put a water bucket and then sign oh wait oh no oh no oh no uh, sign let's go back up and water bucket sign there we go sign water bucket sign uh there's water bucket sign 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 <laughs> so many signs uh can I reach that one yeah got it just go on up in the space there gonna put one more down and then we'll refill so we have six buckets, and, uh oh, they dead, uh, let's go fill up the buckets, ow, where's my mutton, let's get water buckets, I see you, you're dead, you're dead, and now let's go up, Ooh, what was that? Oh, I'm seeing things. So the step strider boots I have, they, these help a lot. They help me get around the water faster, so that's good. And now let's place more water down, because we've already put the signs down. Is that all the water? No, I've still got two. There we go. Let's go back up. Oh, yes. Sign. Right. Here, right here, and then right here. So we need more water. Head back down. I hear a skeleton. Where is it? Where's it shoot from? Whoa! A bit confused. Maybe it just went up beside me. Whoa! Flying skeletons. Right, let's get more water. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Now it's time for the tricky part because we need to do 
the part where they go across which the only part that's difficult about it is actually getting them to move because right now we wouldn't, couldn't just have another source block up here to push them across it would be too inefficient so just go out I'll stay for the night there let's put some pipes down for now two three four five six seven eight and let's uh, make sure they don't leak out so let's put dirt there one two three four five six seven eight and we'll put dirt here as well one two three four five six seven eight and now let's surround this glass I don't know why I need to put dirt there Right, so the plan is I can't even get up now. Uh, I'm gonna put put it there and then put a bucket here, which will take it to the right there. Uh, what else do we need to do? We need to put this there and sign. Damn it, sign there. I'm gonna put the D on it. To glass. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and this, do this. Extend this out one more so we can put a source block here which will move them. Just like that. And we'll put glass on top of it. Like so. So now it looks like this. So I'll show you what I mean. So imagine they're coming up here and they'll go up and they'll keep holding space. Then they'll get pushed and now they'll move down the stream. But if they're on this this side, which they're barely not, they go like this, they reach the top of the stream and still move across. So that's pretty much what we needed to do. Now I'm just gonna burrow through this hill with glass. Actually, we missed the hill so it's not bad that we can just do sky tubing or something like that. And I think I'm gonna have to destroy this. Yeah. I hate breaking glass. But, oh well. Oh! Wow. I'm gonna go ahead to bed anyway. So they're gonna end up going here. Oh, hello. I'm scared for the portal. So let's sleep. And let's go back. What else do I need? Maybe. No. <coughs> Head back. Look at it now. It's like a massive tube in the sky. Let's pillar up. Right here we go. And then we put put a glass block here, and then we put put dirt there. Bring that across. Put dirt there. Bring that across. You are not shooting me off the edge. I'm just going to put a block there for now, so the mobs don't come after. And let's destroy the dirt. There we go, and now let's carry on going across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's mark this down with glass. There we go, that's one side done. the other side done and now we have to do the top layer so I'm thinking of getting a like going to the texture pack and getting rid of all these lines so we can just see through it uh, tell me what you think about that because I'm not bothered what you think it's just I think it looks prettier and uh, maybe it would help with this or maybe or maybe connected textures like with opt optifying and that because I mean optifying will help my game run fa faster and there's no harm in it. Did I do nine? That's why I did eight. One, two, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I did do nine. How did I do that? Oh well. Actually, I don't need to destroy them. Now let's put glass here. Let's put glass here and here. Destroy the dirt. And let's get back up there. How far are we to the target? 
quite close. So we've done one drop, now two drops, that brings us to 23. So, so we did uh, this, is, this drop, yes, yeah, so that's 24, 23. So let's just hope we don't have to do any more. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many more glass? Yes, I do. But not on me. Let's go get some more glass. There we go. And let's go sort this out. So I think I was at 7 here. Uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to uh, get that far. Come on, jump up. Actually, do I need it 16 blocks away? Or is it, or is it 8? I can't remember. I have no idea. Alright, so I'll be right back if I, uh, I'll go on the internet and try and find it out. Alright guys, and now we uh, are going to test the drop of the tube. So I've put it to third, no, 23, and now I'm pretending to be a skeleton, and now I'm going down the track like I usually would, and it's going to get to there, and then I'm going to drop 23 blocks down, and I should end up having half a heart. If not, I will lose 33 levels. I have lost 33 levels. <laughs> God damn it! Oh yeah, slept here, so it's not that bad. Well, that up 33 to uh, the 7. Oh my god, well. Whoops. Definitely not that high then. Do you reckon. Well, we'll put it to about this height and if I don't get to uh, if I get to uh, if I get like to half a heart then it'll be good but if I don't then I'll lower it or higher it depends which one better start off high so then you know where you are alright let's carry on going wait need to take my stuff off let's hurry it up Hold space. Ah, <laughs> missed. I was just holding space. Uh, we'll just pull up the glass. No harm. And then uh, pull up that side with glass. And then this side. Hello, pigman. Quickly. Make the key, make the shoot less visible or whatever, and let's go down into the spawner. Let's get some meat on the go, or mutton. Oh, do it that way, this OCD, and let's head up. Oh, there's a skeleton following me as well. I'm gonna need to get rid of that sign, get rid of that dirt. This weather is a little dirt up here as well. Oh, yeah, I need to get rid of that dirt. Let's carry on going quickly. Speed it up. And then let's carry on. Hold space. Alright, so that was three hearts. I think every drop does a heart. So it's three, is that three? Two, one. There we go. That should be enough. Alright, let's test it out. Oh no, it's because I had my arm on, was it? Was it because I had my arm on? Oh, I can't remember. Oh no, I, I think I shift clicked at it. Right, I'll try this again. Take these off. Eat pork. Oh, hello. Ow. 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 No. No. No dodging. I think he stopped. No, I can still hear him. Is he coming up? Oh, yeah, he is. Quick, run, 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 run. Quickly, gen, regen, regen. Uh, uh, I want to use dirt. Oh, safe. Oh. 
Uh oh. Oh, thank god. Saved. Saved. No, it's hold space. E. Corner heart. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Alright, let's try again, see what happens. There is a skeleton there, so. Uh oh. Let's carry on going up. Get my sword out. I was gonna end this episode with two enchantments, but I kinda. Screwed that one up. Alright, let's go kill him quickly. Die. Alright, now let's regenerate. I can easily get level 30 back, or level 33 back when I finish this, so don't need to worry about it. I haven't actually explored beyond here. When I got here, I just stopped and I got excited. So I might explore around here as well, because I know there's some cows over there, so I can kill those cows and get some food. Alright, come on. Regen this last heart. Oh, crap. Go. I swear I just lowered that. Why are you on fire? You on fire when... Because of... Because it's glass. Oh. I never knew that. Must, I need to put slabs on top of it then. Alright, so for right now, we are going to leave it like that. We might lower it. We might put a slab down. But for right now, we need to go put some slabs on top of there. So I will be right back. Alrighty guys, and now this is the finished thing. I did a bit more than putting slabs on the top. I kind of did the whole thing because I got carried away. But oh well, because the episode is about like 27 minutes long. Uh, so I need to end it around here because it will take forever to upload because my internet is terrible. So let's go have a look and then we'll turn it on and see what happens. And then I'll probably pretty this place up in a different video. So the good thing about having this farm is all the possibilities that we have now. I, I can make an auto farmer because I will get all these bones and so that means we don't have to have a farm in our base that was quite ugly. But at least and I'm trying to think what else what else can come out of this. Uh, oh, three arrows, so that's not a bad thing. Uh, oh, anyway. Oh yeah, XP. Can't believe I've got XP. So let's see if this is spawning. Is it spawning? Oh yeah, it's dark. Are they going through though? Let's try and watch one spawn. There's one. Are they going? Yes, they are. That is brilliant. And now let's watch him. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. I haven't boxed this off. So I'm going to do that now. Quickly do something like this. And stairway up. There we go. There's one. Oh. Let's put that there. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Now we have a completed XP farm. I'm gonna move the portal. I'll probably move it like somewhere here. But let's watch them. Let's watch these skeletons go. Is there anything gonna drop? There we go. Let's watch them come up. Let's see if they actually come up. Oh, I think they're gonna come up this way because they never press forwards. I don't know why, I don't know why they don't move in the water, but oh well, I see him come up, oh no, he's kind of in the middle, there he goes, oh there's another one, oh there's three of them, well at least we know it's working, oh there's a gold one, that's a problem though when you have a mob, mob farm, is uh, some of them spawn like in armour, and when they fall they won't, like, like if they fall they'll have one heart, but sometimes because they have armour they might have like feather falling and that, he won't die, so yeah, that's a problem. But it's, 
easily fixed because what we're going to do is uh, because we're going to they're all going to be one hit we're going to make them all one hit we're going to have like a, a chest full of healing potions which one we're going to throw on them and what happens when you throw like a healing potion on a human is it heals them but when you throw it on like a, a mob like that it does the opposite effect so if you wanted them to be healed up you would throw a damage potion on them but if you want them to uh, heal no, if you want them to heal, you throw a damage potion on but if you want them to die, you throw a healing potion. So, healing potions are pretty much easy to make, I think it just involves a glistering melon, and... Come on, let me sleep. A glistering melon, and... I think that's it. Never walk glistering melon, and then gunpowder to throw it. Which, we can easily go out hunting for gunpowder. But... I think this is all we have time for, so thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.